Hey, what's up everybody? Just a quick video I wanted to do for uh, all of you about Amazon and third-party sellers. So many of you are buying a ton of merchandise off of Amazon. More and more people buy a lot of what they need off of Amazon. And with that comes the growing concern of like third-party and Chinese or overseas, you know, counterfeit, trademark, knockoff, cheap merchandise. And I guess some people are having some issues fighting Amazon over this. So. To give you a long story short, let's jump over to a news story um, that I read about and that I knew about from last year. Uh, this family purchased one of those hoverboards, you guys know the little ride-on hoverboards with the flashy lights and all, um, for their son, their teenage son, for like Christmas or something or a birthday. And while it was charging, I think it was overnight, maybe in the middle of the day, I'm not sure, it was charging, it overheated. You guys know about this. They are notorious for like catching fire and melting. Well, it actually caught their home in Tennessee on fire and burned it to the ground. And so the family filed a lawsuit, $30 million against Amazon, uh, because they basically blamed Amazon for allowing uh, this cheap knockoff, bad quality hoverboard for being, you know, being allowed to be sold on Amazon's website. Well, Amazon fought the lawsuit, they fought back and said that it wasn't their fault, they are just the middleman, a platform, and that the seller, who ended up being from China, sold the hoverboard to the customer whose house burnt down and they were just a facilitator. The quality and the liability of the goods is not theirs, it's on the uh, third party seller, which of course there was little to zero chance of suing them. The family had no way to even get in touch with them. They're no longer on Amazon and it was just a complete mess. So a judge in federal court, I'm gonna give you guys about five seconds to guess. What do you think the judge in federal court said? He said Amazon is not liable and that is no way to sue them and apparently this is not the first time it's happened in several other lawsuits. Let's go to my computer. I'm gonna show you some of the things that Amazon has been sued for and I'm curious what you guys think about this. Should Amazon be responsible? Should they be liable for this? Is it their fault? Is it the resellers? I mean, obviously in my opinion, it's both of their faults. It's the seller who's selling crap merchandise obviously, but he's in China or India or wherever. Even a US person apparently would be the one you'd have to go after, which would make it easier if they were here in the US, you could track them down and then file the lawsuit against them. Uh, you know, when they're overseas, it's, it's impossible. But I also believe that Amazon has some uh, sense of liability here to where, you know, they should vet the people they're selling on their platform better, but they don't have the manpower. They're not gonna come out and say that they don't have the manpower. They just say uh, a general blanket statement like, we're working on it. We're doing the best we can to get rid of you know these bad sellers and weed them out, et cetera, et cetera. So I'd like to know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna take it over my computer, I'm gonna show it to you, and then use the comment section down below uh, to tell me your opinion um, about this. All right, here we go from CNBC. Again, I'll get flack for using the site. It just happens to be the one that come up. Uh, the exploding hoverboard case shows how hard it is to beat Amazon in court. So their house burned down in 2016. It was in Tennessee. It's the Fox family. They bought their son a hoverboard, one of the ones that plugs in and charges and gets really hot. And a judge in Tennessee. Now, they are appealing this case currently. Um, but they were sued. They or they sued Amazon for 30 million over the fact that their house burned down. Um, and this whole story just basically puts it into perspective about how hard it is to fight Amazon. There is the house. That is crazy. I mean, that's insane. And the Foxes sued Amazon for 30 million over it. I would have too, absolutely. Um, so with that being said, uh, guys, read this story and understand it. If you buy stuff from Amazon, you have no recourse if something goes wrong. If you buy something as simple as a overseas counterfeit knockoff iPhone charger because you think it's cool and it melts your phone, you're going to be out of phone. You're not going to sue Amazon. Even if you have the money and you're rich and wealthy and you want to go after them, uh, you're not going to do it. It looks like this family had some money to, to sue. The house looks like it was pretty good size, um, at least decent size. And um, even with the good lawyer that they had, they lost the lawsuit. So think before you buy. And I preach only to buy, you know, authentic, genuine merchandise. Buy Apple chargers. Buy hoverboards that come from the actual real American hoverboard makers. Buy, you know, iPad and MacBook chargers. I bought a MacBook charger, I kid you not, for my MacBook that was counterfeit off of eBay. And I didn't realize it. I wasn't paying attention. I just needed one quickly. And um, 
one night it was laying on my table and the charger was, you know, reached across off of the table over to the plug-in and the block was kind of laying on the carpet right underneath of the, um, where it plugged into the wall and it got really hot and it melted the carpet fibers melted onto the block and I started to smell it and I, I went to grab it and I burned my hands really bad on it. I, I like grabbed it and burned Uh, One of my fingers had like a blister on it. And so I unplugged it and I threw it out and I went to Best Buy and I bought an actual Mac charger, which is the one I'm using now. I've had it for six months. It never gets hot. It charges my MacBook the way it should. And that Mac charger, if I had done that overnight and left it lay and gone to sleep, it very well would have probably started smoking and caught my carpet on fire. There's a tiny little spot underneath of my outlet now in the carpet where you can see just a little you know, dime size mark that it burned the carpet. It's frustrating. And that happened because I bought a bad charger. So always buy authentic stuff, guys. Never buy junk and try at all to research who you're buying from. Look at their feedback. If I had looked at their feedback, I would have known because they had a few complaints about it in feedback. So that's your lesson for for the day, guys. Straight from CNBC. I'll link the story down below in the description box. Speaking of the description box, find all the helpful links. Make sure you guys go check out my new podcast, uh, at anchor.fm slash rockstar entrepreneurs, or you can listen to it on the Anchor app. Uh, You can download that for free on uh, Apple iPhones and Android devices. And also check out all the links down below. Make sure you go check out my eBay store, my Amazon links. All of that stuff doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out. It supports this channel. Same with my Patreon uh, website. Anything that you guys can do to help support the channel, I really appreciate it. Help me make more videos for all of you to educate you, teach you, and keep you informed. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and I will see you next time.